Hey everyone, welcome back to Sebrov. In this video, I will be explaining about an error message that comes while opening game like Fortnite or Valorant. And it says, our D3, D11 compatible GPU feature level 11.0 shader model 5.0 is required to run the engine. So this message keeps coming up. So I will be sharing the very effective solution that you need to apply. And I'm very sure that after applying all this solution, your problem will be fixed. So the first thing that you have to do, you need to update your Windows operating system. So on your Windows search, type here update. And from the suggestion, choose check for updates. Now here you can see that I have the updates available and it says download and install. Well, that is for Windows 11. But what you have to do, you have to click on check for update if you are using Windows 10. All right. Click on it and if there are updates available for Windows 10, it will automatically update it. All right. After updating, restart your PC and check back that if the problem has been fixed. And if not, then you have to add your game to the high performance of graphic settings. How you have to do? You have to click on the search box, type here graphic. From the suggestion, choose graphic settings. Now here, you have to browse to the location of the game and then you have to add it here. All right. Now here you have to look for the game icon first on your desktop. So it can be Valorant, it can be Fortnite, whichever game you have the problem with. So look for that icon, right click on it and you will find an option of open file location. Click on it. And this will directly take you to the path. So from the top address box, you have to click on it then right click on it and choose copy once you have copied it go back to graphic setting click on browse and then again here on the top click on the address box right click on it and choose paste then hit enter and you will see that your game will be displayed here it can be reward client service and for fortnite it can be fortnite launcher so you have to look for the game icon click on it and then click on add once added, click on the options and choose it to high performance. Then click on save. Once done, close it. Now you have to look for your windows icon, right click on it. And from the suggestion, choose device manager. Once the device manager comes up, you have to look for display adapters, double click on it. And it will display the adapter that you are using. It can be AMD, Nvidia, Intel. So right click on it and choose update driver then go with search automatically for drivers and if there are update available it will automatically update it and if not then you will be getting this message now the another method is you can go to the manufacturer website like you can go to google and search for amd driver download and then you can manually download and install it that is more recommended if you can do it you can do it or else move with the next solution now you also need to download and install the Microsoft Visual C++. Okay. So what you can do, you can click on the search box and type appwiz.cpl. Hit enter. Now here you have to look for Microsoft Visual C++. If you find it, then what you have to do, you just need to make a right click on it. Click on change. And then you will be getting an option of repair. So try to repair all the Microsoft files displayed over here. Or else what you can do, you can simply close everything. You can have to download all these three files from here and then you need to install it. All right. So you can click all three of them and it will be downloaded. You can see at the left hand corner, all these files have been downloaded. Once downloaded, you have to click on it, check the box, click on install, then click on yes. And this will be now downloading on your computer. All right. Same you have to do for all the three files displayed over here. Once you are done, now you will be getting another link in the description for DirectX. This is the latest version of DirectX. So you have to come to this page and probably once you open this page, the setup will be automatically downloaded. And if not, then you have to click here to download manually. 
okay so click on it the DirectX will be downloaded you have to click on the setup file then click on yes and the installation wizard will be up here click on i accept the agreement then click on next and here you have to uncheck this option install the bing bar and then click on next now it, this will be initializing and once the installation has been completed you need to restart your pc and after that relaunch your game i'm very sure that your problem will be fixed so that's all guys for today hopefully this complete list of solution will be helping you to resolve uh, this error message while playing your game and if this helped you please consider subscribing to the channel like the video and still if you have issues then let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye